Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Majora's Mask. The Legend of Zelda comes before that. Whatever. Uh, we're playing Majora's Mask, recording it all on VHS. Ye who hold the sacred sword, you have returned to this spot, and now we need to uh, think about time. It's the second day. At two-something o'clock. No, it's the first day at 2 a.m. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I'm just trying to keep time and everything straight. Okay. All right. 2 a.m. First day. Let me take a moment and focus on that. Okay. Let's look at this thing. <laughs> we have here... Bomber's Notebook. We have the Andrew quest line, which, you know, has all sorts of stuff. And that's kind of the big thing that we're trying to pay attention to right now. Uh, we did the secret meeting at midnight, which is not 1130. You lie, Andrew. Um, we promised to meet him and dropped the letter off in the post box. Post box. And we know we did that because we do not have a letter on our person. Cool. Sorry for the weird rough start. It's been a little bit since I've recorded. I thought we were on the second day and seeing it at 2 a.m. was really throwing me off. Um, cool. Deposit the letter to cafe. Hey, that involves the postman. Neat. Rosa Sisters. That's what we ended on, I do believe. And I've remembered what the last person is, what goes in our bomber's notebook. Okay. We have time going slow, I think. Yes. Okay. Sorry, this, again, like, trying to record a Let's Play of this game in particular, this this would be a better stream game. Like, I have come to that realization, just flat out, this would be a better stream game because of, like, if time stuff doesn't work out, then it's fine. If time stuff doesn't work out in a recording session, that's bad. <laughs> There's no saving it. Okay. So here's the deal. Do I want to do that? We're going to do that. That's... I'll try that again. Um, <laughs> here's the plan. There is too much to do. Frankly. We're going to go back to Woodfall. We have time until the morning. So what we're going to do with that time is we're going to do things what involve this mask. When you wear it, you can call together the Frog Choir members. That was roughly the same order of words. Close enough. It's fine. So, um, I'm trying to justify this without metagaming it entirely for the Dongiro mask, but quite frankly, um, it's hard to. It's going off of the, where have we seen frogs before? Well, we've seen a frog, uh, after the frog battle here, after the frog battle in, uh, the other place. Um, the other place being Great Bay Temple. There we go. Words. Don't mind me. I'm recording late at night again, so my brain's just kind of done. Um, <laughs> I 
And now for the fun part. Do, 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 do. I know what I'm doing, I swear. <laughs> Not just completely making up everything. We're making up everything. We're playing it by ear. Um, I was thoroughly thrown off by uh, uh, everything. <laughs> I, I really thought I had left things off at a completely different time of day that I had done more things. Uh, turns out, nope, did not. Uh, and now we will be paying the price for that by me being thoroughly just, eh, it's fine. Anyway, there's a frog over here. That's what we're here for. Hello, frog. Ah, uh, done. Why am I doing... Okay. <laughs> hmm. I hope. Ah, Danjiro, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Ah, could it be? Well, you came all this way looking for me. Ah, you need to not say a thing. Upon seeing that face, I understand. Is it true? But I had heard that it was still winter in the mountains. When spring comes, I shall definitely go to the mountains. Let us meet again. Why come up with a frog voice when there's already the perfect one? Um, who knows if... Uh, I've never listened to my Kermit impression. I have fears about listening to this episode back, but uh, um, that's a secret. I kind of don't often do that. <laughs> um a lot of my edits are like super easy just like cut off the the ends align all the footage and, and video and everything give it a, give it just like a, a nice quick skim to make sure the audio balance is not um extremely super mega bad and only just regular terrible uh and then yeah and we're good to go that's that's my secret of audio stuff anyway so um this dungeon is Kind of silly. Once you have a bunch of tools, this dungeon gets real, real straightforward. Um, and as straightforward as, hey, if I wanted to, I could just shoot a fire arrow. And in fact, I'm going to here in a second. Um, we can, we can just shoot a fire arrow right down there into this torch. Light the torch. Which, you know, unpoisons the water, raises this thing up. Uh, we could light the torch across the room to open the way forward towards the boss, and then it is a literally straight line uh, <laughs> to go that way. However, we're not here for the boss. No, we're here for the mid-boss. The dumb frog boss. <laughs> Not to be confused with the other dumb frog boss. They sure do like to reuse their bosses here. This is not the right room, dang it. Stop that. So we wanted to go north, not south. Eh, it's fine. I have infinite magic anyway. Okay, we're going to do as big of a hit as we can to start.
And there we go. It goes a little bit faster with, you know, light arrows and uh, starting with a nice great fairy sword jump slash. A little, little bit more damage that way. Anyway, frog. Oh. Ah, Dungiro, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be you came all this way looking for me? Ah, you need not say a thing upon seeing that face, I understand. I'm losing the Kermit voice, but whatever. Uh, yeah, winter in the mountains, all that stuff. Spring, everything that they said before. I don't know if I've shown this bit off uh, in, in game yet, but uh, hey, Song of Soaring, when you play it in dungeon, you can't fly immediately. You have to go back to the entrance of the dungeon first. And let's actually go to the, you know, exit so that we can song of soaring away. All right, so next up, we have also seen a frog over here. Specifically in Green Bay Temple. Which is fine. Okay, so. Man. I'm gonna try a thing. gonna give that one go um, there is a trick I don't know it obviously um, where you put on the great Goron or the great Goron the great Goron mask you put on the Goron mask and you do a roll across um, some some stuff and you can just like hit You roll from, like, the top of that elevator into that water uh, spout that I just kind of, you know, went through and didn't catch any air from. Um, and then that is supposed to push you far enough up or hold you far enough up that you can then... do. this will make more sense when I land here and we can just go first person. You then like go on top of the water wheel and you catch like one of those blades just right and then you just keep rolling and you end up up here there's some trick I don't know entirely how it works what the timing is and all that other jazz um Obviously, but, uh, well, hey. We are where we want to be. Luckily, we don't have to do all that much of this temple. We just have to roll down here, go through this hole, go by these bad dudes, and... Yeah. 
We have to fight the mid-boss. I was going to do a silly trick. Um, maybe I will just because. So, that ledge looks like way too high to get to. And if I do things wrong, then it is. Link, come on. Come on, bud. Any time now, Link. Sure would be cool if you could grab edges, Link. That would be that would be neat. I'm trying to show off dumb things. Anyway, I probably need to like actually roll. do this trick then or not <laughs> man <laughs> okay we're gonna do this one more time and if this doesn't work then we're moving on uh anyway there is some absolute shenanigans about doing that Obviously, this only works once you have the ice key. Ice key? The ice arrows. Thinking Banjo Kazooie, apparently. Which, to be fair, you have the ice arrows before you actually fight this boss. Um, so, hey, that's neat. Let's just put one of these things on. Frog. All the same things that all the other frogs have said already. Um, don't mind me, I'm just trying to think things through and forgetting really basic, important things. Such as, hey, um, I do want to fear this temple again. Um, real quick, because you gotta, um, <laughs> so if you recall when I did this on camera, I kind of, uh, wrapped up this temple on the very, very end of the third day, like, you know, with, with zero <laughs> time on the clock, um, which is not great. But it also means that we couldn't do any of the, uh, world... Words. Um, any of the world state change things. So, like, hooray, the waters were all nice and clear and junk, but we couldn't actually, you know, partake in what that actually means. Because we had no time. do has to watch this entire cutscene and it is very long apparently
cool. Love fighting your... Come back here. And there we go. And now the turtle is happy. He can go back to sleep or whatever. And we can go about our business. Hanging out. On the beach, where it's nice now. So what does the, you know, ocean actually being clear mean? Um, well, you see, now there's this boat over here. Fisherman's jumping game. Please ride the boat and the fisherman jump. Blah, blah, blah. Go over there, talk to fisherman. And probably get told to come back later. Oh my goodness. So another one of those things that the uh, the randomizer speeds up. <laughs> I had not realized. Oh, sorry. Evenings and the first thing in the morning are my break times. Come back later. Yep, I hate this guy. I hate him so much. <laughs> like, he really is the worst. Just... Oh, he just doesn't... Oh, boy. It's always, like, come back at some other time with that guy. I really, really, really hate him. Anyway, that's like the entirety of the world state change. Granted, there's still more stuff that we can do in Zora Land. We never really went around there much. I don't think. This is why I just don't. <laughs> Ooh. 
I was able to do that, like, the, the full ride from, like, down below all the way up here into the dungeon once, once ever, and never again. <laughs> and it was, like, my first time playing through the game. Any other time hasn't happened. Anyway, so what are we doing back here? Well, we've talked to all these frogs, and all the frogs are just like, Hey, but it's still winter. Once once it's spring, then let's go. We can we can frog choir it up. Alright. So we're gonna try for the quick kill again. Let's see if I can manage it. I probably can't. And the cutscene is real slow. <laughs> oh, those frames. They struggle so hard. <laughs> Again, I love, like, the concept of GOAT. The execution of it, however, leaves much to be desired. Like, specifically, it's like... Nah, it took too long. Anyway, it's some really stupidly high number of hits required. Okay, let's try the walking backwards nonsense. Nope. That's not working. Um, anyway, it takes way too many hits. Hey, okay, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Takes way too many hits as a uh, Goron Link. Something like 32, I think. I think the bow does like two points of damage instead of just like the one that Goron spikes do. And there's just so much to get caught on in this fight. Anyway, one of these days I'm gonna learn the quick kill for this fight. <laughs> Today is not the day. Because, like, the thing is, so what makes that quick kill really, really nice is that he ends up running into the wall here, which is right by the door, and, like, you will be standing, like, right here. Or something. Supposedly there's, like, a square on the ground that you're supposed to be able to see. Maybe they're, are they just talking about this? I don't know. Here's the thing about, like, Zelda speedrun, like, <laughs> learning sort of stuff. It's so haphazard. And, like, you'd think for a game that's been around for as long as, as like, the 3D Zeldas have, you know, like, 23 years or more, um, you would think that there would be, like, one big central repository of all of the tricks with, like, extremely clear and easy to understand videos and, like just anything and it it just does not seem to exist 
And if it does, please, please correct me. Because boy howdy, it doesn't seem like that sort of thing does exist, and it's really, really frustrating. Anyway, uh, I have been waiting for you to be there. Hi ho. Um, I have been waiting for you, Don Giro. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like we've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Giro, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our course. But wait. Hmm. Unfortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. Uh, perhaps it's because of the long winter? Uh, it was too long. They must not have realized the spring has come to the mountains. And when the great Don Giro has come for us, too, what a pity. Where in the world could the member be? And what could he be doing? I am losing that voice really bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where have we seen one last frog? The answer is back in Clock Town. Apparently, I pointed the camera directly into the sun. Perfect. So anyway, frog. Ah, Dangiro. Winter sure is over. But before we go scampering off, uh, there's actually some stuff that we can do here. Specifically, uh, before we go running off, I do want to do the Honey and Darling daily game. Uh, since we are working on all three of those. Um... And some other things. <laughs> What are they? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore, apparently. <laughs> anyway, uh, today's game is the Bomb Toss. Perfect. <laughs> oh, did you see that? I need blah blah blah. Perfect score, honey. Fifty bucks. So annoying. Let's show off for him some more. You know, let's do one other thing while we're here, and that's uh, we're gonna go get ourselves a moon here, uh, because why not? My goodness, child. What are you doing? There we go. I guess we just don't get that cutscene.
No, we have to get that cutscene. Unless... Like, did I already activate it? What is happening? I'm so confused. Okay, did I, did I did I do like all the DQ trading last time around? Good lord, like <laughs> This cutscene is not activating. There's an easy way to test this, I guess. Um, don't mind me, I'm just confused. Uh, I have no memory of... <laughs> No, no, I did do this. Good lord. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> right, because we did, we did like see the the gossip stone that was hey, like hey, fierce deity mask. Um, cool. And this guy, you sell beans, my dude. Uh, thanks for stopping by, business and the uh, beans. Yep. Cool. 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 Cool, I'm awake and alert and exist. Um, neat. Okay. <laughs> so at this point, we have deposited a letter in the mail, uh, which means that the mailman is going to come by and get and uh, grab that at some point. Uh, and I guess like we we've seen his schedule before. It said um, pick up in the morning, delivery in the evening. And if he's got this big block of, like, training award, that means that's a big block of time that he is in training and not, you know, delivering the mail. Um, ah, crumbs. I forgot about Andrew's grandmother. <laughs> hey, Grog. Uh, we could go say hi to Grog. Y'all, I am just losing it, apparently. <laughs> oh, boy, where was I going? Back to the mountain. Okay, so. Here's the mountain. There's our frogs. Let's wrap this frog stuff up. Well, if it isn't a great John Joe, you listen to a sing. Hmm. Hey, cool. Uh, the conducting was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how deeply we are moved by your spectacular conducting. You got a piece of heart. Let us do it again sometime. Ladies and gentlemen, the Frog Choir. <laughs> Alright, tell you what. I think we're going to call it here because I am clearly off my rocker. Uh, and <laughs> I really need to stop recording at night, apparently, because uh, my brain is dead. Um, so, next time. This time we're actually sa saving during the second day. It's still morning, but we are waiting for evening so that we can go follow the postman around to see where he delivers letters to.
aside from that, we're just kind of spinning our wheels. Um, but there is... Now we're, we'll we'll save here, and we'll we'll do that next time. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. We have more things to do while we wait for the mail. <laughs> is what it comes down to. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry, I'm so brain dead. I've been Bryce. This has been the VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening.